What's up, tech world? Welcome back once again to the channel. Now, usually, Tech of Tomorrow focuses on a lot of gaming products. Gaming mice, gaming monitors, gaming computers, games, games, you know, everything around gaming. But this review is actually something a little bit different. What we're going to be looking at today is a monitor from the people at BenQ, and this is called a designer monitor. And you're wondering, why, why is this thing called a designer monitor? Well, the PD3220U is a complete 4K UHD monitor that has many, many features, including that's right, and this is what I think is actually best. It has certification from the company Pantone for color matching. So if you're an artist who's out there and you need the absolute best features and the best color matching there is, then as we get in and we take a look at this monitor, I think that you're going to agree this is a very solid product. Now, if you're a gamer, there's no FreeSync, there's no G-Sync or anything like that. I mean, obviously this monitor would work for gaming, but this monitor is actually made for people who use their equipment in their daily life to make their bread and butter and pay their pills and pay their pills pay their bills excuse me but you guys know what i'm saying when a monitor costs around eleven hundred dollars you know that that product is pushing into the higher range of stuff now another thing i like about this monitor is i've seen these new mac monitors jonathan from tld has reviewed them and other people and it's a 6k monitor but the stand is a thousand dollars just for the stand and then you got to pay all that money for monitor and how many people really need 6k monitors at this time i really don't know because with the price of that monitor you could buy a few of the pd 3220U's. <laughs> so I'm just saying that. And there's just so many features that we get into that make this monitor very appealing to anybody who's an artist, an editor, or anything like that. Even if it's somebody who even does music and you just want a really good quality monitor that you can look at all day and won't hurt your eyes, I think there's something to seriously check out. So let's jump in. Let's talk about the features and why I really like the PD3220U from BenQ. Now, for those wondering what all comes in the box, well, obviously you get the monitor, you get its stand, but you also get a whole lot of different cables. You get a standard display port to mini display port, a USB type A to type B cable, a standard HDMI 2.0 cable. There's also a single Thunderbolt 3 cable, the power cable and the user's manual. Now, taking a look at the front of the monitor, you guys can see it really doesn't look too much different than any other monitor, because let's just face it, monitors all do look kind of the same. But the thing I like about this particular monitor is it does have a very small bezel on the side, which means if you put two of these monitors together, there's not going to be a big gap that makes it look kind of funny. You can put them together and the controls for the monitor are located right on the front hand side on the bottom. but. This monitor comes with something that I've never really seen before, and it's called a puck. And the puck makes it totally easy for you to change through all of the different features on your monitor. So you don't have to worry about going and touching the monitor. And if you have two monitors going at the same time, it has a KVM built in so you can control both monitors at the same time from the same keyboard. Another really nice thing about the design of this particular monitor is the stand. The stand is very easy to use. It allows you to raise the monitor up and down. You can do portrait mode, spin, pretty much anything that you want to do, tilt, raise, swivel, any of those features are available. And like I said, it's really easy to use. Now, as far as the connectivity on the back of the monitor goes, so there are two HDMI version 2.0 ports, a single display port, there are two USB Type-A ports, a single USB Type-B port, and two Thunderbolt ports. Also on the right of the screen, there are three available ports for ergonomics. You have a standard USB port, USB Type-C, and a headphone jack. Now as far as the screen properties go, the screen size is 31.5 inches, it's an IPS panel, it features an LED backlight, a maximum resolution of 3840 by 2160, features 300 nits of brightness, the viewing angle is 178 degrees, which means that no matter what angle you look at the monitor, it's going to be clear. It features a response time from gray to gray of five milliseconds and a refresh rate of 60 hertz. The aspect ratio is 16 to nine, and it features 1.7 billion colors. It also has a color gamut of 95% of DCI P3. It features true 10-bit color and 140 pixels per inch. The monitor also features two 2-watt built-in speakers, and like I said before, it does have a headphone jack. Now those are just the basic features, but let's really talk about what makes this particular monitor very special. 
The PD3220U features M-Book mode. Now this represents your iMac MacBook's color matching and visual representations. It minimizes the visual differences between both your iMac and the PD3220U. And this is due to the Thunderbolt 3 connections located in the back. Now the Thunderbolt 3 benefits not only charges your MacBook, but it also transfers between the display and a MacBook at higher speeds than even a USB Type-C connection. Another really nice thing about the Thunderbolt 3 connections is that you can actually daisy chain two of these monitors together. And not only can you use two of these monitors together in perfect accuracy, you can also control them through the built-in KVM switch, which means that you can control both of your monitors at the same time with a single keyboard, making your workflow much faster and easier. One thing to take note of though, these monitors only connect to the latest Mac products, which means the latest MacBook, the latest iMac, and the MacBook Pro. What I really like though, is that the more real estate that you have to work on, the easier it is for your workflow. And the fact that you can actually daisy chain two of these monitors together, you can even allow them to work with a Mac monitor and your iMac, just means that you're gonna have a lot of real estate to work on, and let's just face it, more usually is better. And this is really one of the main reasons why I love this monitor. Now you get consistent color matching thanks to the Display P3 color coverage. One thing that you really want to know though is that this is the first display brand worldwide to receive the Pantone validation. This monitor has the ability to cover Pantone colors entirely. Now Pantone is a company whose color system is used globally to make sure that what you're seeing on your monitor is exactly what you see on the final product. The PD3220U features AQ Color. Now this is BenQ's secret recipe for color accuracy. At its core, AQ Color is based on four principles. The first being selection. For selection of the best components with optimal color performance. The second is design. For the design of their products is bringing us the ultimate color performance. The third is calibration, in which they use five elements of color accuracy to calibrate their monitors. And by the way, the monitor comes calibrated right out of the box. They use precision instruments, gamma correction, color temperature adjustment, color gamma correction, and uniformity compensation. And the last of the four principles is their pledge, BenQ's pledge in bringing a monitor that complies and exceeds industry standards. Something else that's also very interesting, if you're a person who does CAD and CAM, you can actually split the monitor in half and you can make one half of the monitor be dark like a dark room and the other side of the monitor to be whatever you want. Now this can come in really handy to people who are working in those type of environments. And also if you're a person and you stare at your monitor for hours on end, a lot of people kind of scoff at this, but truthfully, the features of eye care that come in pretty much all the BenQ products make it really easy for you to be able to stare at that monitor for a long time. For one thing, it automatically adjusts its color and its brightness to whatever type of room you're in. So if you're in a room that's really, really bright, the monitor will adjust to that. If you're in a room that's really, really dark, it'll also adjust to that. Meaning that you can actually stare at that monitor for hours on end without getting that nagging headache that you get. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Because when you're staring at a monitor for hours on end, you don't want some it's just going to be flickering and flickering and flickering and flickering and this particular monitor even though it has only 60 hertz for the refresh rate it actually makes it so it's flicker free so you're not actually registering that inside of your head and inside your eyes now darkroom mode, this creates the optimal setting for work in darkened post-processing environments. The mode adjusts brightness and contrast and this allows for better clarity and detail sharpness now the animation mode, it enhances the brightness of dark areas without overexposing the bright regions. You get 10 levels of display brightness that bring out every subtlety in ambient lighting. We talked a little bit earlier about the CAD CAM mode. Now what this does, this allows you to work effectively in Pro-E, SolidWorks, AutoCAD, Casia, and other design software. Another feature of the eye care is BenQ's low blue light feature. Now this filters out harmful blue light to reduce eye strain and irritation after hours of use. 
We've talked a little bit about Pantone and how it actually makes your monitor have the absolute best color reproduction that exists, but this monitor also has the very first validation through CalMan. And what CalMan is, is it's actually a calibration software program, and when your monitor actually matches all of the colors, that's how you get your validation. So this monitor across the board just has the best color matching of any other monitor in its class. Like every review we do on a monitor, we actually test the input lag. Now the input lag in this particular monitor is 9.3 milliseconds. It's not the absolute lowest we've ever seen, but for a monitor at this price point, it's very good. Plus, let's just face it, 9.3 milliseconds out of a thousand milliseconds is really nothing. So here's how I'm going to break this down to you. If you're an artist and you're someone out there and your equipment is what you use to make your money, then you want to have the absolute best equipment that you can have to complete your mission. Now, if you're a hobbyist or something like that and you're not using equipment to make your money, then maybe something that costs $1,100 might be out of your budget. But to me, when I see these new Mac monitors that have come out that have a stand that costs the exact same pretty much price as this monitor, I just have to look back and go, wow, I really think that this monitor is is a great deal. With all of the features that are included in this monitor, with the way that you can match all the Pantone colors to everything that really no other monitor out there right now has these same exact specifications, from the fact that everything on this monitor is ergonomic, the stand is easy to, easy to use, I mean, honestly, the puck, for accessing everything, the fact that you have a KVM built in so you can switch between two monitors, the dual mode, all of these things to me at the end of the day say that the PD3220U is definitely an editor's choice award for somebody out there who wants to have the absolute best quality monitor that has the best features. I mean, you gotta face it guys, this monitor rocks. Personally, for me, I really like the very small bezel and the fact that you can put two of these monitors together and that you can actually seamlessly work between the two. You can hook it up to your Mac. I mean, there's just so many honestly great things about this monitor that really the only thing that anybody possibly could complain about is the price. And I just feel that this monitor is called designer monitor for a reason. It's made, like I said, for people who are doing designing, who are doing things with their color that needs to match what they're printing or what they're doing. So if you're somebody in film, audio, an artist, and what's really important to you is having the absolute best color features and everything else, then this 32 inch monitor might just be what you're looking for. If you want any more additional information, we'll have a link down below. You can also check out other people's reviews on this around the web, but I think that you're going to find that everybody's reviews of this are going to be a very positive product. At the end of the day, like I said, it's an editor's choice here on Tech of Tomorrow. Once again, welcome to 2020, and we'll see you guys back here on the channel.